Good morning, everybody. It's February 2nd, um, and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning here in Ukraine. Um, we are adapting back to life in Ukraine with the rolling blackouts and the schedules that they give us. And even though we might have electricity, the place where the internet provider is may not have electricity or the cell phone provider. So we're finding that we have internet maybe about two hours a day give or take, through the phone or through the internet. Um, like right now, um, there's no electricity. We're running our generator because we're doing some work, and I'll explain that in a minute, but we have no internet. So that's why you might see a bunch of posts all at one time because I'm typing them up on the um, computer and getting the photos ready, and then whenever I catch that the internet is working, then I load a bunch up. So. Um, please pray for us as we adapt to this because when the electricity comes on that's when we run our washing machines uh, a dishwashing machine uh, Mark got when I got back because there was just the three of us and I'm getting ready to have surgery uh, carpal tunnel release uh, surgery on February 7th so washing a lot of dishes was difficult for me Mark is handling pretty much all the cooking and all the projects and then Dima was doing uh, everything outside with the animals. Um, so in preparation for me to have that surgery, we went ahead and broke down and bought a dishwasher, first one we've had in, I don't know, over 15 years. <laughs> we had to kind of learn how to, to work it again. Uh, but since that time, we uh, got three new clients. One of them stayed for about three days and left, uh, Leonid. Uh, cravings just got too much for him. He didn't even recognize what was going on in him, but it was very easy for us to see. And then the other two are Pasha, Pavel, or and uh, Sergey, and then of course Dima is still here. So uh, we've spread some things out a little bit more. Um, so like I'm not having to clean potatoes and onions and garlic every single day and those kind of things, which is good, especially in preparation for my surgery. Uh, but uh, we've been pretty exhausted. We are, I think, back on Ukraine time. Although um, occasionally we don't sleep well. Uh, yesterday night I didn't sleep well at all, about five hours. So last night I was asleep by 9 p.m. and woke up about 6 a.m. And so I got some time up in my she shed doing some yoga and stretching um, because we have electricity. And that out there is not hooked up to the generator at the moment. Um, so uh, only I can only go up there after the electricity has been on for a while and it warms it up. But anyway, up there this morning, I was just enjoying the peace and the quiet, uh, you know, reading and praying, um, sending out some scripture to some of our ex-clients that we keep in contact with. And one of them actually called me, and it was really good to talk to him. I haven't talked to him for a couple months. Um, and then did my stretching, uh, came down, Mark was cooking breakfast, and then I taught the morning lesson. And now the guys are working. And one of the things that we've been doing is... Uh, when Mark put in the plumbing in this house, um, he was learning their system, um, and it doesn't quite go together like we have in America, so he made a small mistake, and it was okay for a while, but once he put the snake down into the tubing, um, this last time, he's done it a number of times, no problem, but this last time he got wound up, and so um, he's decided it's time to dig up the floor to fix that problem, also put a clean out. And so they were able to, to uh, take out the old snake. Um, and Hello. <laughs> uh, we've got a hole under the kitchen sink um, in the kitchen where Mark put in a clean out and a vent for air and changed some of the pipes. And then in our office, um, they've dug a hole and there is where the little mistake was made with like two mamas instead of a mama and a papa. And anyway, Mark has changed all that so it shouldn't trip anything up. Um, and he's made sure some other connections are good. So now what the men are doing is they're putting in sand and some dirt until they get to the level of the pipes. And then uh, Mark will do again the styrofoam, spray, spray styrofoam. I keep wanting to speak Russian yeah. there. And cover up the pipes. And then once that's done, then we'll lay down more and we'll do the cement. And because he did that last time, some people here thought he was kind of crazy. He kind of used the styrofoam to build a little box and filled it with foam. But he knew that if we ever had a problem and he had to dig down, if we didn't have that, you'd be digging right through the cement and you would damage the pipes whether you wanted to or not. Yeah, I don't want to have to break the cement and, and it's locked around the pipe, so you break the pipe too. With the uh, styrofoam around the pipe, 
the cement can go up to the styrofoam. You break that out and sacrifice the styrofoam. Yeah, so and of course that's a, a very cheap fix and it's very easy. Um, so the Dima and Pasha who have been working on it were kind of like surprised and now they really understand and wow, it's a good idea. Um, so anyway, Mark will build that um, the styrofoam, pinoplast styrofoam around the tubes again and we'll fill it in and put the cement. Uh, we have extra tiles for the kitchen, um, quite a few, so they'll lay that down and there's going to be no problems. But for our room, uh, because it's been so long and we only, I only found one tile, um, we had to go buy some other ones. And it's a close match, but not quite the same, but it's going to be under the cabinets. Uh, so we're only going to see a little bit of it and hopefully, you know, it won't be very noticeable. Um, we had thought about what if we redo all the tile and then it was like, no, that's a big mess. We don't want to get into that right now. Um, so hopefully as they do this, they may be able to get those two holes filled in today. Um, and of course the styrofoam and then filled up and then they'll have to make cement and put it on there and let that cure for a couple days. And then, um, they'll level out the floor and then do the tile. Um, and hopefully things will get put back together with the kitchen. Um, the perforator broke and so they used a big saw and it put dust everywhere just coated, it even got into some of the boxes that we had. And so um, that was started earlier in the week, or la end of last week. Yeah, because we weren't able to go to church because we couldn't take showers. Um, oh, sorry, I've got some uh, sweet bread in the oven. So um, it was just a mess and we've been cleaning everything. And it's a good excuse to clean everything because during the summer, especially when there was only one client, we didn't clean much at all. So we were so busy and usually during the winters when we do a lot of cleaning because we've got more hands um, and now that we have a couple guys um, we're able to do that so we're just kind of doing a deep clean on everything a stove got done yesterday it's the cleanest it's been in a year probably <laughs> um, and uh, we've still got the cabinets on either side of the fridge where a lot of our spices are and that's going to be pretty quick work in our bedroom uh, because we had the new perforator it didn't put out a lot of dust but it did put out some so uh, once our bedroom is put back together, I'll be doing some dust and hopefully they can get it done so I can get it cleaned before I go to my surgery on Tuesday. Um, and uh, we're not going to be able to feed the homeless next week uh, because they're going to keep me overnight and Mark's going to come back and get me the next day and he'll be having to take care of a lot of things because I won't be able to use my right hand for a minimum of two weeks. Maybe light duty after that. It just depends on how the recovery goes and the um, physical therapy. Uh, so if you could pray for me in that aspect, um, and pray for Mark, because he's going to have to take care of so much. Um, and I'm in a rush to kind of finish uh, our year in finances, even though with a nonprofit organization, the taxes aren't due until May. I'd kind of like, it, like to get the majority of the work done. And year-end uh, giving letters. Um, with the internet, only access for a couple hours each day. It's been kind of tedious, and I've had to download some stuff, do some work, load it back up, and download some stuff. But I'm in the process, uh, hopefully today, when I get the last access I need, I'll be able to merge the documents um, and get those out to you today or tomorrow. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for thinking about us, for praying about us, uh, wanting to know more about us, and hopefully this just gives you a quick update of what we're dealing with and um, I'll be putting up some posts hopefully shortly that'll show you some of the catastrophe in the house right now. Anyway, God bless.